Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Premier League Tots continues, but it's also continuing to crash the market. These Tots cards are so cheap, and I think it's that's why other cards on this game are dropping so much in value right now on the market. So I want to take a look at that in today's video, and also, it's a big content day today on Sunday with brand new Tots cards coming into packs with the EFL cards, as you can see right here, going out of packs. Finally, after they've been out for like a week and two days, we're going to have EFL team of the season today. We have a leaked SBC to look at. Might be today, might not be today on Sunday. And then also, I would expect to see a new icon upgrade pack. Now, I don't know which one we're going to see, but the icon moments upgrade is expiring today on Sunday. We couldn't have either an icon moments player pick or Earlier in the week last week, there was a new pack added to the code, a 92 plus icon moments pack. So maybe either of those could drop today on the game. I would imagine that EA would want to keep an SBC like this out to drain coins off the market and to somehow keep some demand for SBC fodder, which is still incredibly cheap with all the packs that have been opened this weekend. So we're going to take a look at all of that in this video and of course, speak about some big time market moves that we could potentially make uh, and just how you can trade in this market as these cards are dropping like every single day. I made a decent amount of coins yesterday. You guys saw me post it on Twitter with a lot of overnight flips on TOTS cards, had some nice flips today. I sold Pedri at 920,000 coins um, on Sunday morning, and look what this dude is right now. He is 760k. Like the, these price drop-offs in this game are crazy right now at the moment, uh, and I think there's potential on some of these really rare cards to make some coins with these fluctuations. So we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. If you're having fun during Team of the Season right now, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at how cheap some of these TOTS cards are and why I think these cards being so cheap are dropping the rest of the market. I mean, take a look at Bruno Fernandez. I know that Bruno Fernandez does not have the best card. He did not get a weak foot upgrade. He's four star, three star, and his card is just, it, it's just okay. But in reality, this card is really, really good with three stats above 90, still a really good card, only 120,000 coins for this type of card in this game. That is why you have players like Foot Birthday Paqueta uh, down, uh, Foot Birthday Fakir, down so much the pedri that we were just looking at down horrendous in this game let me show you some of the price drop offs that we have had just in the past even as of yesterday these cards have dropped down so much more i'm pretty sure i just saw lucas paqueta on footbin at 320,000 coins like again the reason why this stuff is dropping it has to be is a people open so many packs and packed so many of these team of the season cards because the supply this year is insane and B, since these cards are so cheap, if people didn't pack them, they can go sell their Lucas Paqueta and go buy, like, you could go buy Bernardo Silva and Bruno Fernandes for the same price and still have some coins left over uh, than Lucas Paqueta 90 rated on the market. And that, that, and that therein lies why the market is dropping so much because you have some cracked cards, brand new team of the season items that everybody wants to try out. And that is, they're so they're so cheap that that's that's dropping the rest of the market. That's the simple fact of the matter. Take a look at even the mid to higher tier cards. A team of the season Sonaldo card with the stats that he has is making a, a foot birthday Dybala like this drop. 625k. Dybala on Friday was how much pre-content? He was 760, right? 760,000 coins. So this card is down almost 150k. Uh, I mean, it's not just foot birthdays, but I mean, this Paqueta drop is just appalling. It's crazy to see. He was almost 500k last week. He was 450 on Friday, and now he's 323. Again, the price drops are everywhere, and they're crazy. Let me take you a look at some uh, future stars. Again, like I mentioned, Pedri 760k is just is down so bad. Graven Birch is down a lot, of course. Chow many is 353,000 coins. He's down loads. Striker Ferran Torres is 335. Like what? This guy was five, 455, 460,000 coins. He's down over 130K in just two days. It's across the market everywhere right now. Even in some of the most recent promo cards like Foot Captains. Uh, Lacazette with the Harry Kane SBC dropping yesterday. His price is down in value a decent amount. Cordoba was 950,000 coins. Um, a couple, yeah, like last weekend, I sold one at 950, sold one at 880 a couple days ago, and now he's down to 680. He's down 200k in like 
you know, over the weekend. It's crazy to see how much these card prices have dropped down. And it really is because this team is so cheap. We're getting good value SBCs. And everybody is just focused on these team of season cards that are so cheap from the last three squads that we have seen, right? It's not just this Premier League side that is dropping off so many prices. It's a combination of Premier League, Community Team of the Season, and Eredivisie Tots. But specifically with how good these cards are on the middle to low tier and... Um, you know, with just how packable they are too. I think so many people are just packing these cards and they're having to go out and sell the tradable players that are in their team uh, and because they're switching their teams up. Now, one thing you also have to keep in mind is right now there's a lot of hype with Premier League and the cards that we are looking at today, a lot of the ones that we have shown drops in price like Fakir, like Paqueta and Dybala, they're not Premier League, right? Because everybody has packed a couple of these Tots cards or, you know, maybe... Um, gotten some red picks from Weekend League. And what, so what they're doing is they're going out and they're, they're buying other Premier League items to link those together. And that's why you're seeing some Premier League items stay up a decent amount. Like where's, where's Sancho for birthday, right? We're talking a lot about foot birthdays so far in the video today. How much is Sancho for B-Day? 750 still? 760 to 770. So like this guy was in the, he was like 660 on Friday. He is still up. A lot of your Premier League cards are up because again, that's where the hype is right now. It's with Premier League. It is with the links to the TOTS cards or using the TOTS cards in teams. So for right now, with how low the market is in so many different areas, you're like, Nate, can we buy into some of these cards? Will a card like a Lu Lucas Paqueta bounce back a little bit? I mean, I think that some of these prices on the weekend are just ridiculously, ridiculously cheap. Um, and if a card is really, really rare, like I was mentioning, we, you can trade with some of these cards, absolutely. Like the Pedri that we were talking about. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to snag a Pedri tonight. Again, se if I see 750, I'm going to have to buy because, again, I sold one at 920 yesterday. I think this guy is rare enough to go back over 830, 840,000 coins just because he's Pedri and he's rare. This is a PlayStation price, by the way, but I still think he's rare enough to bounce back up that much. So if I see this is Pedri down at like, again, 740 or 750, maybe I can snag one on bid or something like this one right here, then that would make me feel like I'm able to flip a card just based off of the rarity. So you're still able to trade with these prices that have dropped down again you guys know the rule of thumb right we look for rarity and we look for hype because if cards are hype and they're rare there's still people that are playing weekend league throughout the next couple of days since the weekend league is extended there's still demand for a lot of these cards they're going to fluctuate now if we have a big content drop today on sunday which is another thing that we have to talk about could we see another you know, a little bit of a drop on these cards. If we have a big day of SBCs and of content, there is a little bit of potential of that. But I think that maybe in the next couple of days, you know, as we get to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on how the content goes, of course, but you might see some of these cards that are just down so bad that are, that are still really, really good cards in this game, like the Cordoba that we were just talking about for a foot hero captain item that is, again, he fits all three boxes, very meta, very rare. Uh, but he's 670,000 coins. Like, this is crazy. Just because there's no hype for Serie A at the moment, everybody's using Premier League. So some of these cards, if they have big enough uh, price drops, you can absolutely trade with them. And I think they'll get a little bit more. Uh, the, the panic selling will be a little bit less during this next week. It should rebound back up on some cards for sure. But that really is the reason why prices are down right now, hands down. Like, that is the reason. When you have a TOTS Bernardo Silva that is with these stats that he has with the four star four star upgrade on the card i mean i know that so many people are packing this card i cannot wait to pack my own bernardo silva and have him untradeable because it seems like he's so packable but a card like this with these stats with with the uh, outside foot shot trade flare trade 99 agility 99 balance 98 attack positioning like look at all the high 90 stats that are on these cards just where the power curve is but again, with how cheap they are, that's why everything else in this game is getting cheap. It's just kind of a correction because of all these new brand new cards are so packable. They're so supplied on the market and that just makes them so cheap. And that brings everything else down on the market with it. So that's kind of an explanation of what's going on with the market right now. It's crazy. I know. I get it. It's wild. I know some of you guys have lost, lost coins. I've lost some coins too. But the best thing that I can recommend doing is try trading with Premier League cards or other out-of-pack specials. Uh, like I, I bought this Pedri last night at like, uh, it, I think it was like 820 or 8, 830 or something like that. Sold them at 920 uh, earlier 
uh, a couple hours after that just with the rarity on the fluctuation so you can absolutely trade but it is a little bit tough um, just because so many people are focused on those Premier League items and that's where the hype is so speaking of today on Sunday though there could be even more market movements like we mentioned because the Air Divisi Tots cards are going out of packs we have another potential icon SBC and the EFL cards are coming into packs which of course there's going to be more lightning rounds all of that good stuff on the game today now one thing i want to take a look at with these air divisi tots cards is we're going to take a look at the efl leaks in a second for the cards that are dropping today um i still think that air divisi carries more hype than the efl and that's not just saying that efl is not hype at all by any means wow look at anthony eighty thousand coins can i snag a few of these 80k for anthony that's 83k i'll take a couple of these too because I think that a card like this, Anthony, has a little bit of potential to rise up out of packs as a five-star skilled Brazil winger with so much hype that he had. I know that there's a pretty solid right wing card that is leaked to be dropping today um, on Sunday as a part of the EFL team of the season. But man, 83k for Anthony when he was selling at 200,000 coins earlier last week is crazy i know that this guy has so much supply from all the packs that we had but i don't mind picking up a couple of those holding on to them for a couple weeks and maybe he goes up to over 100k again i think that's a possibility with it so if you want to pick up any air divisi cards for your team i feel like that is something that might be a decent shout today um grab and birch is another one that i know a lot of people want to buy 1.15 is that sitting that is sitting i mean i was really hoping for low 1.1s this is where he was last night when i bought him this guy's really rare and he's really really hype so i think he has a little bit of potential to rise out of packs and probably timber as well um if we're kind of looking at the cards that have the highest potential rebound for or a rise out of packs the highest potential for that i feel like anthony timber gravenberge and possibly sangare just because again we're going to look at the leaks here right now i think that these cards that were released last week still are a bit more hype than some of the efl so let's take a look at the efl tots cards that we're supposed to be getting today uh mitrovic is of course going to lead the team 94 rated I mean, this reminds me of like a Zlatan type card. And a lot of people will want to try this Mitrovic out with 98 physical, 94 pace, 91 dribble, and 94 shot. He will be a pretty, I think he's going to be the leader of the team and the most hype card. But again, you take a look at this dude and, and all the cards that we look at inside of these this EFL Tots League. I don't think that uh, probably one or two cards is going to be 100,000 coins or more you know, in two or three days time, I don't think we're going to have anybody that is going to be as expensive as Gravenberch, not by a long shot. So let's keep looking through some of these leaks. I don't want to spend too much time on this because these cards just, again, like I said, they look okay. So Lanky looks pretty good. 91 dribble, 92 physical, 92, you know, a lot of 90 stats. Um, Swift is a center attacking mid. He's had a Tots card in years past, I believe. 93 dribble. That's a solid looking English team. This season uh, cam card, uh, a solid center mid, Banan, I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Uh, links to him again. That's kind of cool, I guess. Good dribbling and passing stats. Nothing too crazy, though. Um, Weeman is getting in. That's an okay-looking card. This card looks okay. I mean, I don't even know how to say these guys' names. Twine, that looks okay. Harry Wilson looks pretty cracked, I'll be honest. Wilson and Mitrovic are the number one and number two cards in terms of hype, in my opinion, that are getting released for EFL Tots. This card looks kind of juiced, and I believe that his headliners might be 4-4. Um, I don't know if that was an upgrade or not, but I would really keep an eye on this Harry Wilson card because I know you're like, Nate, why would you invest in Anthony for an out-of-packs rise if this Harry Wilson is about to drop? Well, Anthony has five-star skills, and he's Brazilian, but this card could be really hype, and if Anthony, Anthony would maybe drop a little bit with a uh, card like this coming out, because these stats look cracked, and people would want to try this dude out for sure, so if he is going to be a right mid, uh, and he links to Mitrovic, that might hurt some other cards, other right mids in this game a little bit, and that's something to kind of keep an eye out for, um, but that's, those are probably your best cards coming out during EFL Tots. Gibbs White looks okay. Um, and then this is the, this is another leak. This is technically going to be a part of the whole EFL situation. We've been waiting on this card for a hot minute and it's finally looking like it's going to be coming. Akin Fenua is going to be getting his end of an era card. He, he tweeted it on his own. I think it was his Instagram actually. So it wasn't a tweet. It was a post on Instagram. 
he mentioned that he was getting another card, like his last ever FIFA card, because end of an era, Akinfeno, of course, retiring. These are going to be the official stats. I don't know if this is today, but it would make sense if it was going to be today with the release of EFL Tots. I would say the next day or two, you ex expect to see the Sack and Fenema, and these are official stats for the card. That's a pretty dope looking item, uh, and hopefully that SBC is pretty cheap. It should be, but that'd be a fun card to try out. I think it would have a pretty solid, it could have a green link to Defoe. So if you did the end of an era Defoe card, nice green link to Ack and Fenema here. I think we have like two more leaks for uh, EFL Tots. Cooper is a goalkeeper and a right back Spence card just looks kind of average. And that's how I feel like the whole entirety of those EFL Tots leaks. Look, I just feel like it's okay. I feel like it's decent, but really nothing spectacular. And man, I look, I was, I was looking at leaks and I wasn't paying attention to the market and I missed the Pedri at 700K. That is pain. Anyways, um, Again, I feel like there's not going to be a lot of hype for more than just one or two cards that are going to get released in that team today. But apart from that, on Sunday content today, if they do go out and drop an end of an era Akin Fenwell for really cheap, that would bring some hype to some English links. And of course, if they were to release another Icon Moments upgrade pack, and I just want to shout this out again, I think we should be done with the Icon Moments upgrade. I think that today they're either going to do that 92 plus Icon Moments pack, which was pack code that was added a couple days ago last week, I think that's very possible, or an Icon Moments player pick. If either of those are added, but specifically the player pick, that would cause a lot of panic today on the market, and you would see a lot of prices moving because of that. A lot of people have fodder, and fodder is also very, very cheap at the moment. So, you know, when, when you take a look at some of your 88 rated cards and they're still under 20,000 coins, you think about a brand new Icon SPC today, and you're like, Nate, should I be club stocking some of these? And in my opinion, I think you might want to. Um, you know, the thing you have to be very, very careful up with with fodder right now is, yes, we have a lot of demand, or sorry, we have a lot of, supp of supply. I think we're going to have a lot of demand later on this week, but it could start today, and you have to be very careful. If you want to open upgrade packs later on, maybe even today, I, I doubt they drop it today. Usually Mondays are upgrade pack days, but if we see like the Premier League uh, 25k upgrade packs like everybody wants to see the same ones that came out during team of the year you can't be unassigned if you want to open packs so if you're going to do a little fodder investment just be careful that you're not too far unassigned that you can't get out of it in due time to open upgrade packs uh, for team of the year but like some of these cards are just ridiculously cheap 89s are 25,000 coins 88s are 20k they've been doing a lot of the higher tier squads recently right we had an 88 rated squad in Deli Ali. we had an 89 rated squad in Harry Kane EA knows that they're dropping tots cards which is supplying those 88 to like higher to mid 90 cards on the market and people are packing those so they can get away with using higher squad requirements and SBCs. That's why I think looking at anything 86 and up is probably pretty solid for an icon SBC dropping today for a club stock. I also think that 84s and 85s are great buys uh, for a club stock as well or an investment because we're going to we're going to have more SBCs coming later on this week that will be, you know, 85, 86 rated that will a lot of people will use 84s and 85s in. They'll put in one tots player who's 88 rated fill up the rest with 84s, 85s, boom. You've got like an 85 or an 86 squad done really easily because of that. So I think these cards are going to rise as well. I think the weekends, it's it's kind of been the easy trend, right? The weekends, SBC fodder gets low and then it rises uh, later on during the week. I think there's a 100% chance of that happening this week as well. So regardless of where you want to spend more of your coins on fodder, if you're going to invest, I think a club stock is a very, very good um, opportunity right now on this game. And again, I want to talk about market a little bit too. Today on Sunday is actually a very interesting day because we're going to have the first ever squad battle rewards that are going to uh, contain red picks. What's my rank right now? Oh, I'm still in gold three. Let's freaking go. I think I'm going to get a red pick with the max rating or yeah, a community air divisi tots player 90 max overall. So uh, and Anthony's over 90 rated, right? Yeah, he's 91 rated. Gravin Birch is over. So you can't pack Anthony Gravin Birch Sangare. Kochu, Holler, uh, but you can pack everybody else like Timber and then Community Tots again uh, are going to be available in this pack. This is an untradeable pack, so don't worry about your guys. Um, you know, let's say who's who's lower than 90 rated that's in like Mitchell is 80,000 coins and he's up so much. John McGinn is 41K, you know, or Conqueray is up a little bit too. Don't worry about your guys that are above 90 rated from Community Team of the Season. 
uh, because their prices shouldn't be affected by any of that. Those are all in tradable cards, again, getting released. Uh, but that's something to watch today on the market. Maybe a little bit of supply for Premier League Tots. And just scrolling through more of these Premier League Tots cards, uh, I had some really, really good flips on these guys the last couple nights. Uh, I bought some Sun tonight at around 810. I think I bought four or five of them. It looks like, oh, we're on the rebound for Hyunmin Sun. Sun. He is 850, 860. So I bought those like 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, I did get a Kevin De Bruyne for 810 or 802. Okay, Kevin De Bruyne's on the rise as well. He's 849. So some of these cards have gotten pretty low and now they're starting to rebound. But again, like I said, it's really it's really hard to trade with these cards that are in packs after after Friday night into Saturday. That's the best time usually to trade with the brand new promo cards. So like Van Dyke last night was a money maker for me. I bought Salah. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that on the video that last night, but we posted that on Twitter as well. I bought a Salah at 2.67 and sold it at 2.93. Salah is now back down under 2.6. He's 257 at the moment. I think you're going to see a few of these cards rebound back up into today. I don't think the rebounds are going to be as drastic. Um, as I know, like Bernardo Silva and some of those lower tier cards have dropped down a lot as well. I think you'll see a few rebounds here, but these cards are also going to be a really close watch today on Sunday. They might rise up a decent amount into Monday. So just keep an eye, if, especially, especially if there's some panic selling on these items. Keep an eye out for some of these tots cards to get really really low today on sunday maybe even a little bit lower than they are like right now as, as you're watching this video and checking out some of these prices and then potentially rising up a bit um as we head into that monday to tuesday time frame because most people are still finishing weekend leagues uh on like that saturday sunday time frame and you're, last week we saw with the community tots cards we saw those cards go up on Monday like a normal rise, even though the weekend league wasn't over. So that's going to be a really interesting part of the market to watch. Uh, we have made some really good coins from these TOTS cards, and I continue to want to do that because the more coins we can make from flipping these TOTS cards the next day or two uh, with some risky flips, that's the more coins we can put in an upgrade pack starting on Monday, hopefully. This this Van Dyke is tempting me at 627, I won't lie. Um, and also, I want I kind of want to snag a Graven Birch. Last night on the video, you watched me uh, pass up on a grab merch at 114. I actually ended up buying one at 115, sold it at 1.24, uh, and, and then he's now back down today. So this card going out of packs, I've got my eye on him 100%. Last thing I have to talk about in this video, very last thing. We got a WSBC yesterday. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. We had a WSBC with the Harry Kane. Uh, Again, Spurs fan, little biased here, maybe very biased, but four star skill moves, high, high work rate, six foot two. Again, he does not have the 90 agility or 90 balance, but he's got 99 reactions, composure, finishing, um, attack positioning. I mean, this card looks really, really good. I know it's a bit expensive and, and some people don't like that. Um, he's 500 and like 60, 570,000 coins to do. It's going to be such an easy craft. I know you're like, Nate, what? Are you kidding me? He's got an 88 and an 89 rated squad as a part of this. It's going to be really easy to get done doing upgrade packs this week. Pack a couple blues, and then you'll be able to craft them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to get them done and use them in the weekend league. So I think that was a W, although yesterday was a quiet day for most people. Uh, that Harry Kane, of course, was very nice to see. The last thing I want to check right now is the swaps token tracker uh, from yesterday. Oh, let me try to find this here on criminals. Uh, FIFA page because I know that he's been tweeting out the tracker. Here it is. There are five tokens that have been released. We got the free one, the De Gea objective, Prem Challenge one, SBC, Saka objective, and then the Prem Cup objective that was released yesterday. So there are only five tokens. I would imagine we're going to get Prem Challenge two probably today on Sunday. Uh, I got to get that done before the, the swap token ends. But I would imagine at least one or two swap tokens coming out today on Sunday. Um, with the release of uh, EFL TOTS and more Premier League TOTS SBCs. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. I know it's a bit of a longer one, but there's just so much to go over in this game right now. It, it, it takes a little bit of talk about, right? So good luck if you're finishing your weekend league. If you, again, if you tweet or if you pack anything sick, make sure you tweet me. I've been seeing a lot of awesome tweets from you guys of stuff that you've been packing, and I absolutely love it because the pack weight is great and that's good for everybody. It really is uh, on this game right now at the moment. So have a good Sunday. Wish you well in the weekend league and with everything else, we'll be streaming today. It's gonna be a great day of content. Make sure you hop on the Twitch stream to check that out. 
link down below in the description. And yeah, lads, that's going to be the video for, uh, for me today. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Food Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.